Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Darklands with me, Polar Dash. Uh, last time on Darklands, we dispatched the uh, Robber Knight uh, Raban Pershimer and uh, got some money loots and uh, the fame that you know goes with destroying one of the most hated dudes of of this part of Germany. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, in, in my excitement over our victory, I uh, I kind of loaded I went into the loading screen instead of the save screen and uh, when you go into the load screen in this game you can't get back out of it so I was forced to reload from from outside this castle yeah look I'll show you like when you when you go into load the game goes yeah loading is irreversible do you want to proceed are you sure about this and I went of course I want to load silly game what do you think I'm stupid and yeah the game had a good laugh I'm sure and it's AI mind. Oh my, uh, yeah. But so yeah. Anyway, I had to go back and uh, fight uh, Raban again. And uh, I think uh, the results were pretty much the same. I, I, I might be down some hit points compared to last time. Um, com or down more hit points. But Axiana managed to still get her stealth. Uh, Increased, as well as Toby's. Um, what else? I Toby didn't get the the streetwise increase like he did last time. And uh, oh right, and and like uh, the other session where my uh, where my success at jumping the Robber Knight's men that was uh, was voided. Starting to use strange words. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess the, I guess winning against that, that swindler down in the marketplace now doesn't count. So uh, I am, I am a sad panda. It, it happened twice in a row. It, that hurts. That hurts my soul. But it, it doesn't change the fact that, that Axiana somehow managed to win against the Swindler. I, I, I feel very, I felt very good about it, and I feel very good thinking back to it. So it, it's the memory that counts, and the fact that it, it's caught, it's caught on fraps, right? Yes. All right. So um, I think uh, in this session I'm gonna try to reach Campen to get our twenty florins from the uh, the foreign trader up there, and then I, I guess it's a race against time. Uh, because we have, what, what, an appointment with the Grand Puba of some witch cult up in Groningen, right? So we'll do that. Uh, but first things first, I think we need to heal ourselves. Um, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll heal ourselves first. It's good to be in tip-top shape whenever, wherever. All right. But I think now's a good time to invoke St. Cosmas, which is something that I should have done before in the other episode. But we'll do now. Better late than never. Right, so Inferno whips out his holy decks. Pulls up St. Cosmas. And, and and did you guys notice in this art here that it's like a if you look in the background behind the words, it's like this pillar, like single pillar, with the saints lining the sides. I always thought that was really cool looking. And you know, in front of his holy decks, it's like a, it's like an iPad where he can spin the pillar into the into the same he wants. <laughs> so that's what I'm imagining anyway. Okay, so um, I guess fifty percent is good. We're gonna uh, pray for Peng, so he gets that uh, what the healing, the tremendous healing bonus that uh, Saint Cosmo supposedly will uh, confer to us. So Peng, all right. So what do we get? Holy, wow. Payne's got the healing touch now. Healing went from 30 to 98. And I think he healed some too. 98 healing, what's, what, what is that? <laughs> Let's find out. The only, the only thing is that the healing or the a saint's uh, blessing will only last for a day. But I think a day of 98 healing is more like a week of uh, natural healing, right? So let's, let's see. I'm curious. So back in the Frozen Wrath, Axiana orders a, a Wrath Burger while Ping. While Ping pulls the burger out of her mouth because 
Exiana needs. What am I doing? I'm all confused because I'm so excited to see what 98 healing is all about. Anyway, so get get the get the Brigadier mount. You need you need to drink this this reagent of healing. Wow, we gained six. That's that's impressive. So what? That's yeah, three days worth of healing. Can't complain about that. So there we go. Everyone gets six healing. Saint Cosmos gave me this drink. And he still got it, alright! Oh, it's because the dial didn't go around all the way. Awesome! But we're milking the game. It's okay. You know, I think Ping... Yeah, see, now he knows Saint Damien. Let's read up on Saint Damien. Patron saint of barbers and physicians, Damien was twin brother to Cosmos. The two performed many miracles, both before and after their deaths. Damien restores all lost endurance and a good amount of lost strength. He also brings automatic knowledge of Saint Cosmos. Yeah, so I think I said before, yeah, Saint Damien is the um, is the full healing version of Cosmos, where Cosmos offers the the other, you know, extra bonuses but uh, less healing. It's okay though; these two make this a uh, uh, not a deadly combo. They're very opposite of deadly. Um, unfortunately, Pink can't invoke Saint Damien yet. But I, I don't think these guys require that much virtue. So when we get enough virtue, uh, Saint Damien and Saint Cosmos will keep us running, like the Energizer Bunny. All right, so um, it's good. Now Inferno can concentrate on praying for divine favor, and also yeah, once Inferno gets more religious skill, he'll be regaining uh, divine favor much faster, which which will mean we'll be able to use Saint Cosmos and Saint Damien even more times. Then, then now, yes. All right. I'm not me trying to think up a words. So let us continue the healing. There we go. And Saint Cosmos says, "I think that's about does it." And it does. All right. So now that we're looking much healthier than before, that is awesome, though. We just got uh, like a week and a half worth of healing in, in two days. Not too shabby considering we are on a clock here what what day is it 27th of february right so we got less than a month to get up to grown again it's kind of cutting it but we have more important things to do like oh <laughs> you want to try your odds again says the little man all right um all right we'll, we'll shoot let's see tobias is uh Cradling his chin with his thumb and pointing finger as he thinks of a shell to pick. Left hand shell? No. Inferno, what does Canadia say about luck? Inferno goes, no, trust your instincts. Go for the left hand shell again. No! Alright. Tobias push Canadia aside. Ping, what does intellect say about this? The middle shell. No. It's all probability, my friend, says Ping. Go for the right hand shell because of a whole bunch of mathematics he spews out of his mouth, he says. Alright. No! Alright. So Toby goes, Axiana, what does an empty mind say about luck and probability? And, um. Uh... I don't know. Axiana goes, the left-handed shell is the prettiest. Uh, not this time. All right, that's enough money. <laughs> Laughing, wow, man, I can repeat it again. See, that's what usually happens when you go against a swindler, is that you lose, like, every single time. I don't know how Axiana pulled it off last time. It's time to sell our loot. Oh, wait, before we do that, before we do that... All right, hold on, pawn shop man. I have to show you what a ninja looks like, a medieval ninja. Alright, so we're gonna have Tobias dress up here, since he already has the, uh, the scale male leggings, or the limbs. I don't want to take off the shield. You know, this is investing more time than necessary, just to show you what, what a scale vest looks like. Where is it? I know you have it. Or do you? There it is! Put that on him. And, ha, ah, look, a medieval ninja! 
Yeah, okay, that's enough. <laughs> uh, we need to... We need to put the... Okay, we need to... Give him the chain down. Alright, thanks, Selby. Oh, wait! And, and, uh... Hoist your shield up there. There you... No, not your... Co no, no, I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. Uh... uh... Eh! Alright, alright, alright. Now we can go into the pawn shop. Okay, we're back. And Toby has this humongous bag of loot. Where'd you get this? Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait! What am I doing? What am I doing? Cool, 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 dash. Too soon. Um, we got... We got the Robber Knight's plate mail. What the hell am I doing? Oh, my God. I almost committed sin. When you dispatch a Robber Knight, you take this plate mail and you slap it on somebody. Pro tip, I was about to completely... Completely ignore. All right. Um, the plate mail is going to go on Inferno, I think. Yes. And we got chain mail leggings. Ping wants that. And we have a two-handed sword. The... What was this thing called in uh, German? The... I forgot. I can go to Inferno. The Zweihander or something? Anyway, um... I think Zweihanders were like... Really humongous long swords or two-handed swords. I think one even reached like seven feet blade length. That's in, that's insane. I don't know how you can wield a seven feet long sword. <laughs> but uh, leave it to German people. All right, so uh, we can see what a two-handed sword looks like. It's a bigger long sword. Look at, it. but you need two hands to wield. Um, the game will allow you to hold onto a sh a shield with a two-handed weapon equipped, but you won't get the bonus for the shield. So you, ha you, you want to make sure you watch that. Um, but, yeah, we'll just stay with the longsword for now. It's safer. Uh, Two-handed swords have the penetration value of a short sword, so it'll make the short sword sort of uh, obsolete once uh, yeah, once we get uh, Inferno swinging that big blade around. But I, I don't think I want to... I don't want to use it yet. Because I'm not sure about his skills. Mm. Like, uh, two-handed weapons, uh, although they're devastating, they re they're they slow to swing. So, um, if you equip yourself with a two-handed weapon when your skill isn't up to it, you'll be swinging less. And at the same time, you'll be missing just as much. Does that did that make sense? You know what I mean? Like you're swinging less. So if you're not if your skills aren't up to the task, uh, you'll be missing all those times you'll be swinging. And that's inefficient. Because Inferno could miss all he wants with his longsword because he's swinging it faster than a two-handed sword. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just going to shut up. You get you get the drift. Um all right, now we can go on. no wait. No wait. What am I doing? Seriously. I am completely brain farting. Um, double check. I, I need to slow down a bit. And actually clear my brain. Because I'm like trying to think of things to say. Like I didn't equip him with the plate armor. Oh my god. That's what plate armor looks like. It's impressive, right? I, I'll, I'll admit the plate armor... I was semi disappointed the way it looked. It, it didn't look as cool as I thought it would, but it, it served its purpose. All right. Looks like you're wearing like a bucket on your head. <laughs> All right. But I think most medieval helmets, yeah, like this. They they look like buckets anyway, so that's okay. And Ping, you need to equip your chainmail. Right. Go. Are we good now? I just spent 15 minutes rambling and completely derailing myself at every opportunity. Now I think I could head into the pawn shop and sell my things. Am I correct? I hope I am. Because you know what? I don't care anymore. Go! I'm just going to sell sort of slowly. Curable. Oh, we get to... No, we'll get to that. 
We'll say that for another day, what Kuroboy looks like. Kuroboy isn't very impressive looking. Especially the, the leggings of it. I like the way the, uh... The vital Kuroboy looks like. Because it makes it look very manly, but... The leggings is... And there's a bunch of children playing outside. That's, that's great. Um... Alright. So now we're up, uh, 20 florins. And with the money we'll be making from... In Kempen, that'll be 40 florins we'll have in our persons. Can't wait. And what am I looking through your words for? I'm rich. I have no need of the pawn shop. The pawn shop's wares. Okay. Well, I just want to check out the pharmacist real quick. Uh, because we will be starting up alchemy very soon and um obviously pharmacists won't have every reagent available for sale so you you need to collect uh the necessary ingredients when you have the when you have the chance because i mean this place might have zingan which we might need for a potion but the place we'll be heading to might not have zingan and then we'll be we'll be sad I actually don't exactly know what we need. You know, we're just going to pick up some some of these ingredients just because. Chamomile, zinc in. But see how money just drains really quickly when you go to buy these things? That's, alchemy is an expensive uh, profession. So it's, um, you don't really get to it until, like, you defeat your first robber knight. I think we're done now. Alright, I need to sort of take it slow. So I don't lose track of what the, what I'm doing. Am I am I good here? Am I done here? Actually, were, were we able to talk to the astrologer here? I'm not sure. I don't remember. So we're going to do this. Go. Walk in here. Alright, now that Ping is starting to buy all these uh, ingredients, he's... Looking to trade? No! I heard about you. You Rufians. Going around. Chasing down robber knights and not doing the intellectualisms. Get out of here. Alright, so that failed. Because as much as... Even though we have a lot of formulae, we don't have anything that can heal us. Well, we sort of do, but it's a very inefficient way of doing so. We got great power and new wind. New wind heals endurance, while great power will increase your strength temporarily, but it's not really a source of healing. Anyway, did I put Toby back to bleeder? Yes, I did. All right, let's let's get out of here. I, I sort of think I should have made a bank note. Whatever. And back to cool blends, and then from there we'll go to oh, there's a there's that mine there. Too late. Uh, mines is a sort of. No, it's not a sort of. Is a uh, source of uh, now chemical reagents too. They sell, like, what do you call it? Ah! Well, they sell ingredients. That's all there's to it. Go. Okay, now we're in Kong. We're going to try to charm the guard. He loves Toby. Pass him in the butt. All right. Um. So let's go check out the pharmacist here. This one's got Orbiment, which Pink will pocket after paying his dollars. So we'll buy like five. And Solen Solenese, we'll buy a couple of those. And Gum, okay, and Pink also pops one in his mouth. Mm, Alum, did I get some alum back there. Nickel? We don't have any nickel. And, um... Ooh, brimstone. Buy some brimstone. There goes our money. And we will need these bases. We'll need the phlegmatic base. And the sanguine base. Alright. And the melancholic base. And... Choleric base, yes. Buy some of those. And the, uh, the ingredients themselves sort of 
connect to the kind of potions they're used in. Like, for example, gum. You know, we all know what gum is. Gum is used for making sticky things. Like uh, the stone tar potions, for example. So, you can kind of, when you go shopping, guess what you'll need for the potions you want to make by understanding what each of these ingredients are. I think I just spent two minutes there saying the obvious, as I always do, but we'll leave. Um, I think I'm getting too ahead of myself in the alchemical stuff. I actually wanted to just spend one session just going and explaining how alchemy works, and I'm just like, like trickling bits of alchemy information bits at a time in a way that none of you will, at the end, understand how it all works. And, oh, you know what? You know what? I think I should just... I think I should just shut up, really. In my head, I'm telling myself to shut up, but my mouth won't stop. Um... So I think we're... You know what? No, I want to spend a day at least. Where is the... Yes. Go into the uh, list cushion and spend the night. Good. And I want to check out the astrologist lane again. Ping. And also, Ping will need a philosopher's stone. I think we should buy one. No, you will not have my Philosopher's Stone. Be gone. Uh, we will need a Falafel Stone to um, do any kind of alchemy. So it might be wise to go uh, poking around for one. And I think we can also try the university here in Colm, but if I remember correctly, I'm not heading into the right place. I am not heading into the right place. Well. Wow. Alright, no, I'll admit it. I'm sort of not sober right now. <laughs> I, I thought I'd be able to do this tonight just to finish up, but um, yeah, it shows. Don't, don't let's play drunk unless you want to, because I'm having fun right now, and that's what matters. Where is the, um, uh, oh right, it wasn't the churches. Let's try the university. This is not the- Oh, wow, man! Hey, but I can use their library. Alright, so... Yeah. Go beers. Oh, but it's gonna cost us nine silver because we're loaded in cash. That's okay. Let's learn about St. Michael. Because uh, St. Michael is a badass, and I want to read up on him. And just spend the whole day, because we're trying to save time. Alright, so in the dead of night... Inferno will tell us the story of St. Michael as we head toward the exit, the main gate, because we need to get out of here. And I, I'm not clicking on Inferno and in the St. Holy Decks. Um, there he is. St. Michael, patron saint of battle, Brussels and Germany, and one of the three captains of the Heavenly Host, provides a small increase to all weapon skills, a good increase to charisma, and a very great increase to healing. In combat, he may improve the party's weapons and armor. He also improves local reputation in Germany and Brussels. So he's just the saint, the patron saint of, of Germany. You know, not, not of some, well, and Brussels, but, you know, not of some little place, not of that river, no. He is the, the saint of all of Germany, so it, it tells you how much of a pimp he is. And look at him, he looks freaking killer. He's got this angel wings and he's got this sword. He's looking up there. No, his, his knee is bent. He looks like he's about to kick someone in the balls. It's great. But he is impossible to cast, if I remember. I don't think I ever casted St. Michael. And I always wondered if uh, just improving the party's weapons and armor is permanent. Like, I think it'll improve, improve the quality. I'm not sure if it's permanent, though. Maybe we'll find out. Eventually. But we're going to leave. And we're going to head to camping. Unless the guards stop us. It, they don't. Alright, so let's go. Go, camping! Camping will be mine, along with the 20 florins. Oh, there's that village. Ah, uh, you know what, I don't have time for a village. 
We're on a time clock. I'm gonna have to get the groaning in. And face down this. This witch cult master. Alright, so we made it to camping. And it is now 7 a.m. Plenty of daylight to head to the main gate. And use Toby's charisma to. Yes! Awesome! Um, and then we're gonna just take ourselves to the foreign traders. And yeah! The Walter. The Walter Nutzel. Not Walter Nutzel, it's the Walter Nutzel. Stands beaming and holding your reward. What are your exploits have obviously spread rapidly. You grasp the weighty purse and carefully count each coin. Uh, all 20 florins are quickly added to the party's purse. Uh, Tobias loves counting gold. Happily, Walter Nutzel. I think it's like Nutzel. Uh, says to you. At last, Raban Pershheimer's power is destroyed. All of Kempen will know of your part in this. Your deeds shall be remembered. Alright, high five guys, high five. Now how much money do we have? I, I love staring at my Mondo stash of gold. Yeah, 32 florins. 7,840 Ah, uh, Breathe that in, guys. Breathe that in. Um, and I, I think I'm going to just call it here, get some sleep, and maybe continue the Let's Play when I'm less drunk. <laughs> so next time, uh, say hello to a, a more sober Polar Dash. Alright, so see you then.